Hello there everybody and welcome back to another video. Once again we're back here on Chalington Valley as you can see. So yeah, I'm just gonna check because as you will remember the last couple of well last episode we did cultivation in field twenty nine. And I believe field nineteen is also needing done. Yes it is, but obviously, as you guys will know if you've watched the series, field nineteen seems to be the world's smallest field. So yeah, it'll take no time with the equipment that we have. I'm not sure what's the best way to get there really because there's that many different limits and stuff. I think going through this way. It's because one way systems, stuff like that, makes it take a while. Well, there's no crossover. We might end up just going the wrong way. I don't know. Oh, wow, that was incredibly close. Yeah, I think we are just going to be ending up going. Unless if we, I think we can probably cross over, just maybe not in the most legal of fashions. Well, it is quite an awkward field to exit. I mean, enter yeah, and exit for our farm. No, well, exit seems a lot easier, but still not exactly the world's best. Because as you guys will know can't go across into the other side of the motorway well, dual carriageway but still over I believe yeah there is an open bit here well and the Scania getting in the way see as long as the police don't see us it's fine and also as long as we got oh, wrong button bones through that fence as well we almost did. So I'm not sure what we are going to be doing after cultivating this. As you can see, ground's still quite wet here. Yeah. We are kicking up a bit of mud. But all in all, it's nothing. So yeah, sorry about this video being uploaded. Probably quite incredibly late compared to normal. I've had an extremely busy day because I was planning to record when my mum went to fetch my granny and then my granny wanted something from her loft or loft or whatever you call it, attic, whatever you want to call it, and I had to go up to get it so I ended up and spent about two hours where I was planning to record. So yeah, that was a bit awkward but you know, uh, I'm hopefully going to get it out today. Probably quite late. I've been trying to get a backlog today, but it hasn't worked, so I've had job after job. i breaking up concrete, lots of different things. screenshot of this. Yeah, I'm hoping to try and get Thursday and Friday's video recorded fairly soon because then I'll have a fair backlog and also I will have the ability to start that new series up. It's going to be a Public Works series, which I'm actually quite excited for. So well, that's the kind of series that I quite enjoy. Well, it's gameplay in general. But yeah, I'm going to be scouring King Mods and Mod Network, stuff like that. Just trying to find some extra stuff 
obviously that John Deere 50G came out yesterday it would be and yeah really happy about that well I haven't used it yet but that is probably going to be being used well I think what we're going to do for it is just going to be giving ourselves infinite money because it's more of just playing unless if there's actually a soil sell point now we might be able to make a profit and just start off with a couple of million, something like that. And then obviously dig out the soil. Yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot of um, mod searching, but also I think I've gotten the best place for that recording bar that I see that you guys don't. It's right down in the bottom middle between well, what's normally the map and also the speedometer. So I'm quite happy about it. So obviously this field won't take very long at all. And yeah, I'm not sure what we're doing next. Probably planting because well we have no crops in the ground. I do want to get that field planted. I'm kind of thinking I might actually be doing onions in there. And then just leasing the harvester probably. And planters and stuff. As well, I feel like that could be quite a nice different crop. Onions or carrots, one or two. Well, actually, maybe onions in that field, carrots in this one. You know, it all depends on what I feel like doing. Well, I feel like that is actually quite a light clean style. Anyway, I will see you guys once we have gotten a bit more of this field done. So yeah, see you in a second. Alright for everybody, just going to stop to quickly write something down. Actually, I didn't need to go into that camera view. So as you can see, we're almost done. However, I've been thinking the onion and carrots over. We are definitely going to be doing it because, well, you know, I feel like doing a different crop because we've plenty of money, so money wise, doesn't really affect us at all. And obviously, it's one of the different crops that you can get in the map, so I do feel like doing it. So, yeah, we are going to be going to probably just lease a uh, planter because I think this is the only thing that we're going to be planting with planter on this series, really. Just, you know, we do have other more general crops that we do. So, yeah, we're very, very close to finished, obviously. So yeah, I think we're more than likely going to be doing onions in the other field. So I think, considering the fact that we're going to be doing two fields, I don't know if we should bring seed over or not. I don't think we'll need it. Uh oh, truck's coming. Truck's getting held up. Sorry, Mr. Truck, at least you didn't ram me like what you did with the combine, thank you very much. That was really annoying. For anybody who's forgotten that episode, the truck decided that the combine was basically something to play with. And yeah, rammed it all over the place. It was just here, it rammed it right into the wall. As you can see, it's slightly faster than the case, it would appear. And the case goes 32. So I think that probably goes 35, I guess. So we'll be coming off just up here. I guess he's probably continuing on. Yep. Yeah. 
I just think he wasn't slowing down very much, so it was more than likely. Thank you, Mr. Carr. I just put the back rollers right over his bonnet. Right, so we'll go and slip the cultivator off. So put handbrake on, and then we will obviously be able to do that, right. So let's check the store, obviously, I'm pretty sure, at least to do onions you need a uh, planter. Yeah you do, to do onions and carrots. I think that might be a bit too small for us. I'm wondering what style that is, 6 metres. Um, so that's also 6 metres. I think 9 would be pretty good. And also that does look quite nice. 4,643. Why not? We will go for leasing. Oh, it does have a few leased parking deck. So yeah, obviously in the last episode we mowed in here, as you will know. I'm debating whether to bring more back from here. We don't think we need to. Then obviously there is a chance that we might be getting some grass on the road but if we do we can easily just paint over the tiny bits that have gone on the road if it needs to be but I don't think we will need to. So obviously with the cage going pretty too mile away, should not take too long to get there. I wonder what horsepower is it required again. No, it's in there. 180. And the new Holland, what would it run at? Not 125. Isn't anywhere near capable. Just wondering because it would be good to get in it a bit more because, well, it's not being used very much at all really. Because well, obviously. With the case doing pretty much all the field work, I mean, New Holland has used header trailer, you know, flatbed, and possibly at some point it might be being used for a liquid trailer if it needs to be. But I don't know. Hmm, very extremely slow car. See, so obviously, not very far to go at all, no. But forgot about the front weight there. So obviously this tractor is probably a bit too big and American style for the UK, but that isn't really my main aim. My main aim on this series is just using different things. Hmm, river levels seem quite high, as always. Well, I mean, it has been quite extremely heavy rain, really. As anybody who watched last episode will know. Yeah, we kind of flooded back up. Uh, size wise I think that is pretty much perfect. I'm wondering if it is seeds only or not. No it's not. Right, I'm gonna select onions. Because well, well we're doing onion field first. Yeah, that'll be where seed goes I'd imagine then. I'd imagine that would be fertilizer, but might be wrong. So obviously it's done folds like this. And then, obviously, you lower it, and yeah, plant whatever crop it is. 
as I'm sure you guys know, but what on earth is that green thing? Hmm. I mean, something different. It looks more like a carrier bag than anything. I think it might hold some stuff. Let's um see or something. Seems to be pipes that lead out of there. Two grey pipes. We can get a seed hopper, so wonder if it's just drops down there and then Yeah okay, we get transfer, so obviously we'll have to use the J C V to put seed in it. I don't think we're gonna use fertilizer for first stage, but we might. Because I kinda feel like or actually no we should because the sprayer is that wide that they probably struggle field wise. Well I'm not sure, the sprayer is liquid. Whereas I believe we have a pile of solid and no liquid fertilizer. They can't check on there. Yeah, I'm sure that's it is all we have. However, I'm kinda thinking about getting a liquid fertilizer tanker idea. Where basically we'll just run a tanker, especially for liquid fertilizer. So obviously we're almost back to the farm. Not sure if we'll be planting this episode, but we will certainly be loading the drill up at least. Obviously, field one never has anything in it because of that glitch that I didn't ever fix. Because well, we sold it pretty quickly, and that and selling the big farm is really the reason we have so much money. I'm check. I'm just gonna check. Do we have a loan? Do we? No, no loan or anything. So we actually have over a million pounds with no loans. Which is quite impressive actually. Yeah, scarecrow in that field. That's something I didn't enjoy about that field. I always put grass around it. Oh you can see the grass window on there that ended up never getting picked up before we sold up that field. See yeah, I didn't want to do this plus stuff. In fact, well it looks like quite a different crop. Is that onions or carrots as well it looks like. Oh no, potatoes. Yeah, it's actually quite a wide well, plant and not a drill. But it does look good on the case. But I might get a screenshot of it. There we go. Don't know what one's going to be the thumbnail. Well, one of the screenshots I'm taking, one of the couple of billion. Okay, let's just check which side it opened on. And sadly, it's a side that means we have to go all the way around. So I'm sure we can just load up from roadside. I believe the tele handler is in this shed if I noticed yeah I did notice it correctly. What controls are this? is it all wired up? Yes, yeah, what control is that? I have forgotten how to change Oh no, it, well, it was the button that I was pressing. Yeah, I don't know what's actually causing that glitch with the telehandler, but I'm sure that we can deal with it. Well, that is really annoying. See, so we might end up switching the telehandler out for a different Agri Pro. Right, see this in that back corner. Yeah, I don't know if it's really worth switching out just because of a slightly buggy camera. It probably is. Yeah, this isn't the one off a of Monto. Don't remember what site it was off of. Oh, it's actually the back hopper that it goes in. That is a surprise.
Right, I'm not going to pull this up. Oh wow, it holds bang on a bag for... On, like, for the seed. Right. So I'll get the fertilizer compartment op opened up this time. So yeah, there might be a bit of mud on the road, but I'm not cleaning it this time. That brush was too much of a pain to get on the telehandler. But I'm not doing it every single time across the road with slightly muddy wheels. You know, if we've crossed it a lot and there's a lot of mud and dirt and stuff on the road, then yeah. But, you know, there is signs saying about the possibility of that, because obviously it is a farm area. That's only half a bag, so I'm not sure. And it's filled it by 16%, so we can probably hold another two bags at least, I guess. I'm not sure, but I guess that at least. So we've actually got two bags on here. Which is a little bit more awkward to control for obvious reasons. They do put like that unloading bit on it. So I think that should hopefully be plenty of fertiliser. Yeah, 73% is, well I'd say at least plenty. Let's see, um, we're not going to be doing any drilling today, but we will close cover up that dripping. I'm not in a rush to end this video, though I don't want it to continue for too much longer, or you guys will more than likely be getting bored. It's parking brake on. Here in. Cause yeah, as you can imagine, this brush to get the forks perfectly aligned is difficult. You know, with ordinary forks, it's fine, but with them ones being adjustable, it's kind of more difficult. So yeah, we are needing to get more stuff for the chemical store. Cause well, obviously, we are starting to run low. So anyway, yeah, hope you guys have all enjoyed today's video, and yeah, goodbye.